Italian, uh, listen on an airplane that's been hijacked, and things will go well. We just had a, a plane crash into Alpha 4 on the World Trade Center, and it Good morning, today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. I'm AJ McDade, welcome back Falcons. 19 years ago on September 11th, 2001, America woke up to devastating news. Hijackers who were members of Al-Qaeda intentionally flew two planes into the World Trade Center's Twin Towers, located in New York City. Another plane was flown into the Pentagon, then a fourth plane where passengers and crew members launched a counterattack. As a whole, they decided to spur their hijacked plane into a Pennsylvania field. It was believed that this plane was heading for the White House. Nearly 3,000 people were killed on that day, the single largest loss of life resulting from a foreign attack on American soil. Panic and confusion spread throughout the nation as nothing like this has ever happened before on the mainland. We here at FSC News dedicate this show to those who fell victim to this horrible terror attack. With the virtual school year underway, progress reports are coming soon. This quarter's grading window was extended to September 18th, but don't worry, the quarter still closes on October 9th, so make sure you have all your Canvas assignments, tests, and quizzes turned in by then. Elective teachers are finding new ways around the challenges of virtual learning. Teachers are now making the most of online learning by using flexible programs. Here's Mr. Pardee for info. The students miss the camaraderie of their peers, the being around their friends, the competitions, the games, the concerts, the travel. So that's what they miss. Um, we have plenty to do in terms of, of music pedagogy and, and, and teaching, but there are certain aspects that are really challenging, like intonation, like an, an ensemble type playing. Like it's really not feasible to try to get 100 plus people on a recording at the same time. So we're going to play around with doing some some recordings and then ultimately do some, some spliced, um, you know, concert performances. Um, we've got our student leaders creating a, 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 a big database of, of pop music that features every instrument. So for instance, the flute players can go into a file and find a ton of music for uh, for flute in American pop music, you know, like Lizzo, Beastie Boys, and other groups. And, and we do have a composer that wants us to perform a piece to be premiered. So it would be like the American premiere of a, of a new piece of music written for us, um, and we would do it virtually so we'd have every kid record at home with a click track and then we would sync it together for, a, for a, a virtual live premiere. If students can't come to class, class is coming to them. Another way some of our elective teachers are keeping up with virtual learning challenges is with at-home supply kits. Art students just received at-home kits last Wednesday. This will help art students continue to learn just as they would as if they were in a classroom, ensuring that they all have the same resources and supplies. Some of you juniors and seniors may be finding that it is a good time to pick up a job, whether it is to make some extra cash or to fill up your free time. If you happen to be working, you can turn that paycheck into credits to graduate. Head on over to fscnews.com and click links. You will then be directed to Bianca Wood's contact form so you can send over your check stubs. That's all the news going around the hill today, Falcons. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at FST News. And from all of us here at FST News, have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next Wednesday. But before you click off, enjoy some guitar played by one of our very own video production students, Ruben Bello.